One, two, three, four. see you there. Why don't you pull up a stump? Come on over. Welcome to Glory Days with Burke Thomas Overdrive. This is my buddy Bobby. This is my Corona mustache and beard. This episode is called When I Played with the Original Members of Third Eye Blind and Never Rehearsed. So way, way, way back in 2017. Let me take a step back. I had a side project in the early aughts with the guitar player Third Eye Blind, Tony Fredianelli. It was called Tidy Whitey. I had a one-man band called Pris. I put out a few records, mainly um, locally, um, but also on Loveless uh, Records and Power Pop Academy in Japan. Um, those songs were doing pretty well on local radio and they got around the labels a bit and I started getting letters and phone calls and people showing up to shows etc etc um, and that is how I got in contact with uh, Third Eye Blind's management they were looking for someone to collaborate with Tony on another project and um, so fast forward we started this project um, never really took off we, we played some shows we put a lot of work into the recording um, but um, he got busy and I started touring a lot with Vendetta Red too, so it never um, really got traction. Anyway, we stayed in contact over the years and um, off and on and off and on. And I think we tried, we actually tried again to record some stuff at Stephen Jenkins' studio at his house in San Francisco in 2016 briefly and then had to put that on hold also but moving forward to 2017 I'm out in the Issaquah mountains um, I've got a school out here called Loud House music school and I teach all the instruments and um, I'm also playing in five or six bands um, but I get a call from Tony saying that he's going to start touring with his buddies who are the original members of Third Eye Blind minus Steven and they're gonna call it uh, XEB and they're gonna tour around playing the first two records in its entirety and they were looking for some shows in the Northwest a little bit of help um, to see the cool venues to play etc and um, conversation went back and forth I reached out a few times to see what the dates looked like and then um, eventually I was asked to actually play drums in the band just for their Northwest dates. And, um, uh, it, you know, great songs. Those first few records, great songs. So uh, they're really good songs. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll help you out. And, uh, but they also said, we're not going to have time to rehearse. And that's kind of right up my alley. I hate rehearsing. I hate it. Um, I like to practice on my own, be prepared, and go play the show. Not real social when it comes to like hanging out and rehearsals for long periods of time and just kicking it and it's not my thing. So this was right up my alley. So the first show was in Portland. And the second show was Seattle, back to back. And I just crammed and crammed and listened to the stuff and fine tuned it and fine tuned it. And it was a total of so the first full record plus a couple extra tracks and then four, three or four songs off of the blue record plus a drum solo that they wanted to connect 
a couple songs together with. So, and that was all fine and good. Um, drive down to Portland, and meet the boys there. Um, at Soundcheck, we play a couple bars of the very first song, and they said, oh yeah, we're good. Um, and I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> we'll see how the rest of the show goes. You know, come back later, play the full set, uh, just looking for visual cues, um, trying to uh, sink in, trying to get in the groove with everybody. It worked out. There was no big mistakes or anything like that. And um, I think they liked it at the end. And then uh, driving to the Seattle show the next day, um, Tony had a couple notes like, oh, this needs to be a little slower or this one uh, we need to stop loosening or whatever. Just fine tuning notes. And that was all good. And the second show was much, much better. Um, and I think, you know, drum solos, both nights went over pretty well too. Just improv, total improv stuff. But uh, that was a really cool experience and really challenging. Um, 24 songs, zero rehearsals, and the show's going off without a hitch. So, and uh, we still stay in contact. So again, I'm gonna keep pounding this. Practice all the time, meet people, make connections. You never know when the opportunity will come up. Sometimes you'll meet your heroes. Sometimes you'll um, be inspired by great musicians. All three of these guys were really, really good musicians, Total Shredder. So I appreciate the opportunity. It was a lot of fun. And I'll see you on the next Glory Days.